try this one again. I'm not going to lie, I've made a, this video twice already. This is going to be the third time. A little issue here. This is inspired out of Ecclesiastes 3. There was a time for everything, a time to be silent, and a time to speak. Ecclesiastes uh, 3, 1, 3, 1, 1 through 7. The title of this one is, I think I said, A Time to Speak. For 30 long years, the African-American woman worked faithfully for a large global ministry. Yet when she sought to talk with co-workers about racial injustice, she was met with silence. So she's working for a church, and these are church people she works with. Finally, however, in the spring of 2020, Floyd, as open discussions about racism expanded around the world, her ministry friends started having some open dialogue. With mixed feelings and pain, she was grateful discussions began. Silence can be a virtue in some situations. As King Solomon wrote in the book of Ecclesiastes, there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be silent and a time to speak. Silence in the face of bigotry and injustice, however, only enables harm and hurt. Lutheran pastor Martin Niemöller, I could be mispronouncing that, uh, in parentheses, J Martin Niemöller, jailed in Nazi Germany for speaking out, confessed that in a poem he penned after the war, Lutheran pastor Martin, jailed in Nazi Germany for speaking out, confessed that any confessed that any poem he penned after the war. First they came for the communists, he wrote, but I didn't speak up because I wasn't a communist. Then they came for the Jews, the Catholics, and others, but I didn't speak up. Finally, they came for me, and by that time, there was no one left to speak up. This is a paraphrase. This is a bigger quote. It takes courage and love to speak up against injustice. Seeking God's help, however, we recognize the time to speak is now. Why is it important not to be silent during discussions about injustice? What hinders your willingness to engage in such dialogue? Dear God, release my tongue and heart from the enemy's grip. Equip me to see and feel the harm of injustice so that I may speak up for those hurt by this sin. Um, now, I may be reading this wrong, but um, as a believer, as a Christian, let's just, let's say, should I have been out on the, the BLM protests, should I have been out protesting bigotry, racism, and this sort of thing as a Christian? Just out there saying, hey, racism is bad, hold a sign, or whatever the case is, blah, blah, blah. Forget all the violence and all that stuff. I just Would this be something worthwhile? In my opinion, no. And not because of who the BLM is or any of that. I couldn't kill us. But as a, as a Christian, as a believer, should that be my, my um, an activity for me? I don't think so. Now, if I went there, Bible in hand, street preacher guy, and started to share the gospel, the teachings of Jesus, with these people as they went by, protester or not, black or white, blue, purple, red, doesn't matter if they're walking, breathing, moving, and I'm sharing the gospel with them, yeah, that's what a Christian would be doing. I'm, I can't, I can't, uh, uh, there's no way I'm, uh, there's, there's, how would it be? If I would say, hey, racism is bad. we got to stop racism. No, the world is going to end. It's going to end badly for many people unless you seek your salvation. How? Right here. Racism? Yeah, whatever. We get all kinds of trouble here. Bigotry, murder? Yeah, there's all that stuff here. Put that aside. Let's talk about your salvation. The bigger picture. Okay. Uh Am I going to get caught up as a Christian in a, another one of the many items that go on in this wicked world every day that somehow will get this change or whatever the case is? No, it's going to hell in a handbag. We already know this. See, and I just, and this is my opinion. I could be wrong, but I think I, I could back it up if I had more time. Um, should I, as a Christian, should I be speaking up about injustice? No, I should be speaking up about the ways of Jesus and the opportunity of salvation that you have. The world's a mess. 
I'm not going to try to fix the world. It doesn't end well. Why would I waste my time? It doesn't end well for the world. Oh, but I'm going to fix it. No, I'm not. It's all about salvation. I, you know, I'll leave it at that. You kind of get the idea of what I'm talking about. Should I have been out protesting? No, I should be out sharing the gospel. But these people are there. Look what they did to this guy. Look at that. Sharing the gospel. Pick, pick an instance. Pick a situation where if, if you know the Bible at all, where you couldn't take a share of the gospel, you could not, where you can apply the gospel to it. And if the people involved would participate, you could 99.9% .9 of the time fix the situation. You throw the book at it. Okay. That's just my opinion as a Christian believer. Um, should I be speaking up or should I be silent about what terrible things are going on in the world? I shouldn't even be participating in that. You share the gospel. That, that's that's the fix. That's the big, that's the fix all. See? My opinion. Love you, God bless.